What's going on guys? Steve from Moon Masters here, and today I'm going to show you how to diagnose if your alternator is bad. So your first telltale sign that something's wrong is probably some hard starting, some other symptoms. The easiest way, if your vehicle is equipped with it, is to look at your voltmeter. So, or battery voltage. So see how mine is like reading like that? And if I gas it, it used to just, it used to dip. A lot of times the needle would actually sit pretty well, but now it's really getting bad. So you see that, you're like, okay, something's wrong. So your first step, test the battery. Your second step is then check out the alternator. So I've already replaced the battery. Apparently that was dead. Now it's time for the alternator. And I'm gonna show you a real cool tip that I used to figure that out. So with the engine on, okay, you're gonna do this test. You could probably already hear it. You hear like a, like a flat, a ticking noise coming from the alternator. It's fairly easy to guess, especially since at the auto parts, so they're like, yeah, your alternator voltmeter is the voltage regulator bed. But here's a test, I call it the probe test. Back in the day, doctors didn't have stethoscopes, so they used to take a piece of hollow wood and they would actually place it on your heart, put their ear to the end, and that's how they hear your heartbeat. Well, same thing works for a car. So what you'll do is you'll place this on part of the engine, put your ear to the end, and you figure out which one makes the loudest kick. So I just did, you know, regular tests, and then I did other tests, and bingo, the ticking comes from there. So that's all for me, guys. It's a really easy way to figure out if your alternator is going. I've seen 100% of the time that I've seen an alternator go, it develops that ticking, and every time I've done the little ear and probe test, and I've figured it out. But anyway, that's all for me, guys. Steve from the Minimasters. Thanks for watching.